Hey guys, it's BC Sims, and we are back with more Dang It Rampa 2 Goodbye Despair. So, we are at freebies time. So, let's just go wander around and see who else we can find to talk to. Uh. Wait, wait. Um, okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't know what button to hit. No. Kazuichi told me to conserve my energy. I guess I shouldn't wander off. Okay. Oh wait, was I supposed to be meeting him or something? I totally forgot. I was, wasn't I? Uh-huh, at the at the thing. But I don't know why it let me go here then. I don't know if I was supposed to or not. I don't know where we're supposed to find the Monokumas. It's not on the baggage claim this time. Let's go to the thing. I, I kind of forgot that we were supposed to do that because it was like free time. So let's actually go. We'll finish running around the aisle. Island. Uh, we'll finish running around because we were supposed to meet him at the lake. We were supposed to meet him at the market. Didn't he say that? I can't remember now. It's been a little while since I played. Long enough that I forgot. But he's not here either. So I don't understand why I'm not allowed to go to the other island. Okay. Yeah, there's nobody here, so why the hell am I here? I don't understand. Why aren't we allowed to go to the other... I don't want to go to the hotel. Why couldn't I go to the island? I don't understand why I wouldn't let me go to the island. It's free time. I should be allowed to go wherever the frick I want. Oh, we can talk to Crazy Pants McGee. Well, I guess we can talk to Crazy Pants. Alright, let's talk to Gundam again. <sighs> it's extremely quiet. Are the spirits of the earth afraid of something? I do like him before he dies, because you know he's going to end up dead. The game's not going to let the people that I like survive. Uh, invite Gundam to hang out. That was close. I praise your good judgment. No matter how many things there are, they'll never be able to invade my surroundings. <laughs> Though you may be affected by my magic instead. <laughs> I really do wish this was fully voiced because I enjoy their actual voices more than I can do them. Also, it hurts my voice doing some of them. I was forced to listen to Gundam's story about the Earth Spirits who tend the land. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer. Would you like to give him a gift? Not really! <laughs> To be honest! Coconut juice. Let's give him coconut juice. How pitiful. Do you really think I'd be happy with something like this? Nature. Fine. Collective I'll... will of the world. I guess I'll accept it for the time being. You should prepare a better offering next time. It was coconut juice. It's natural. I can see it! Don't get any closer! I already know what you're thinking. You, what do you know that even I don't know? So you have appeared. So I'm not thinking anything is what I basically just said. I'm not actually thinking anything. <laughs> now then, summon your familiar. No, I, I don't have anything like that. You fiend. You've come to challenge me many times. I thought you finally obtained at least one familiar. <laughs> just as I thought. You were just a mere human and a strange one at that. Despite what he's saying, Gundam doesn't seem all that annoyed. Is he opening up to me a little? How pitiful. However, you probably don't understand how pointless this place is for a demon beast tamer. Now that you mention it, even though this is a tropical island, I don't really see any wild animals. Fine. If this place really was a normal tropical island, I wouldn't have time to talk to you so freely. Many beasts inhabit the thick forests. 
There may even be a rare species that only existed on the, in this land. <laughs> Just yes. thinking about it makes me tingle. Wow. He's smiling right now. He's also a little weird, but I like it. Ah, uh, I seem to recall seeing a cow at the ranch. Let me tell you this. I'm not interested in some domesticated animal. I need wild hamsters. I had a feeling you'd say that. Fall, my tears. <laughs> Just, I like the random shit he says in the background. After all, I cannot look at it without feeling pity. Huh? That's a bit unexpected. How pitiful. Such creatures are born to be eaten by humans. Even if I had the all-seeing eye, I couldn't change that fate. Thus, I try not to involve myself with livestock. It would bring a calamity into my mind, after all. Gundam understands the feelings of animals, so this must be a complicated subject for him. This body is uncooperative. <sighs> I appear to be getting oddly sentimental since I haven't encountered any new demon beasts. I've tamed various creatures, such as the Cerberus, the Phoenix, and even the Midgard Serpent. Okay, crazy pants. He probably means dogs, birds, and lizards. When you say tamed, what exactly does that entail? <laughs> <sighs> I guess it's fine to tell him you're human. I don't believe that you'll get in my way. Listen well. Basically, you must say, good girl, good girl. Huh? You must repeatedly speak to them and make sure they understand that there is no ill will on our end. In order to do that, you need to appear innocent. This, too, must be the will of causality. Of course. There are some who like to be touched and some that don't. It's better if you keep these basics down. It appears you cannot escape. Afterward, as long as you spend a long time together, you'll eventually start to hear your partner's words. I'm pretty sure that only happens to ultimate breeders. But Gundam seems different from usual when he talks about animals. Somehow, his face seems gentler. He must really love animals. Fine. Now then, I wonder if there are evil demon beasts that will rile me up on this island somewhere. Monokuma and Monomi are sort of shaped like animals. I renounce you! <laughs> I don't blame you for that. They are no good. Anything that can talk will eventually betray you. And most importantly, they aren't cute. <gasps> Monokuma is adorable. I agree. But I don't plan to betray you at all. <laughs> Such exaggerations coming from a mere human like you. I love his fat fucking hamster. It's hilarious. However, that's a nice line. Gundam left the area with a different smile on his face than usual. I hope we'll be able to understand each other, even if it's just a little bit at a time. Yay. After seeing Gundam walk away, I left the area. Looks like it's almost time to meet up, meet up with Kazuichi. He told me to come to the supermarket. What's he thinking all of a sudden? And keeping it a secret from the others. I don't want to think about it, but if he's plotting to... No. There's no one way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. He's probably trying to find a way to escape. Okay, they just didn't want me to go to the other island for some stupid reason. Huh. It's well past the arranged time, and there's no sign of Kazuichi. All of a sudden, the anxiety I'd been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon, until... No! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! W what the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late. L late? Oh, I get it. I totally forgot he's that kind of guy. A guy who doesn't mind showing up late, even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, it sort of makes sense. So what do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this? Hey. Well, you know, can you do me a little favor? A little favor? Uh. I just overheard something. Apparently it's Miss Sonia's idea. For a change of pace, it looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach. Doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me uh. you... As expected of Miss Sonia, splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. Uh. I admire her so much, it's shocking. My heart trembles around her so much it's about to burn out. <laughs> so, let's crash it together. W why me? Hey, hey. Well, it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So how about a scenario where you and I go to the beach and then we run into the girls by coincidence? <gasps> hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me with this. Man. Nikumaro can't keep his mouth shut to save his life. And Gundam is... Well, Gundam. Fuyuhiko and Nagito are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey! hey! I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know! 
And now you're just gonna walk all over my kind of- my kind act? You- You're snapping at me? If you say no, I'm gonna bug you about it until you die! There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi, after all. If I have no choice, then fine. Hajime acts like a guy who's, like, gay and is being forced to go check out hot chicks. Wait, hold on. I accidentally skipped. Eh. 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 I can't go back. F2? Uh. uh Yahoo! That's my Hajime! That's how a soul brother should act! Sorry. I hit the wrong button. I was, I was adjusting, so... So what do I have to do? Oh. Well, based on what I overheard, it looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second island. All right. That's why we gotta head over to to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. And we're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. Got it. So I need to go to the diner. Yahoo! I'm all excited now! Well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like he can't take a hint. I think it's funny that his last name is Soda. I don't know, I guess we'll talk to him. For now. Uh, that's why we get it Oh, okay. Alright. Yep, I guess we're gonna go to the beach. Run, Hajime! Run! I like making him run. I do like that they kind of changed it a little bit um, up from the first one to make it slightly different, but at the same time, it's still the same thing. But um, at the same time, this is awkward and weird. I mean, I guess we kind of ran, but we ran first person, so. Did I go the wrong way? I never know. Everything's backwards in this game. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Backwards. I go clockwise, goddammit. You think I'd learn by now that everything is like counterclockwise and backwards? Like, my level is going up backwards? It's going right to left? I think I'd have gotten that. I'd figure that out. But I just, I can't. My brain can't, like... It's alright. We just spent half the game running. Jesus. I mean, the nice thing about this tropical vacation is you could probably eat and drink all you wanted and not worry about it. Because, you know, you... For now. The amount you're doing. Uh... All right! I plan to be... Oh, okay, so we're... He somehow managed... Oh, he made it here before us because we're an a-hole and we went the wrong way. Diner. And he got here before us, too. This is really creeptastic. <laughs> Alrighty! The ladies aren't here yet! Let's hurry up and go inside! It's weird that the diner has food, because that's... You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Alright! We're here! Now we just have to stake out a spot and wait until the ladies arrive! Is he sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalkerish? We're gonna see if there's a Monokuma floating around in here. And when are they going to come? Did you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears, too? Hmm. They mentioned something about coming a little after the sun starts to tilt. So maybe around 4 p.m.? It's 3 p.m. right now, so... But you have to wait one more hour? <laughs> Always make your move early. That's just the basics, you know? Hey, I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. Hey. It's fine, it's fine. Just make sure you keep watch by the window. It'd be bad if you didn't catch Miss Sonya on our way to the beach, you know? It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they gotta pass in front of the diner. Engines revving. So why don't we just pretend like we're eating food then? Uh, you better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. If this isn't a game, then what is it? I really should have just said no. Sitting at a table by the window, 
I rested my chin on my hands and absentmindedly stared out the window. <gasps> Are they coming? Did they arrive? It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. 20 minutes passed and then 30. As time passed, the only things that grew were the volume of my size and the weight of my, gr my regret. <sighs> Say, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonya will wear? Since she's a foreigner, how about a bikini? Uh, don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fantasy hiding between the top and bottom of a bikini? Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Wait, huh? And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked by the front of the diner. Mm -hmm. Huh, isn't that... I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over. We left the diner in a hurry and ran to where that person was standing. I like how they try to keep it secret, like that person. What? Y you bastards! I knew it was you, Fuyuhiku. What are you doing here? Shut the hell up! Th that's my line! Hey, hey! What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? Wh who are you calling flustered? Don't go making false accusations, you bastard! Huh? Don't tell me. Aw, oh, man! Is that it? You overheard my plans, didn't you? Huh? But plan? Huh? It's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan and followed us all the way here, right? Hello! Hey! What are you doing at this place? Oh, my, my. That's a strange combo! Uh, hello! H hello! Um, today is another wonderful day! Well... You are done for! You're not gonna get away now that I've caught you! Oh, I got so nervous I ended up blurting out something weird! But please don't hate me! I'll take the punishment as much as you'd like! This girl's oh. fucking insane. I love it. Oh my god, she's hilarious. Uh, um, you two, this is such a coincidence. Um, I never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. He really does suck no. at this. Man, actually, Hajime and I were about to head to the beach together. Oh my. Huh, could that be what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It even seems like destiny. <laughs> Something's obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like a salmon before they lay eggs. Well... No, no way. I'm always like this. Uh, how should I put it? I always pay attention to my surroundings. I can't keep watching this. As I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I realized that he had disappeared. Huh. Where did Fuyahiku go to? Well... Well, regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30. Still have about 30 minutes until you meet the others. Um... um... Why do you know we're going to meet with the others? Why you? And you even know our damn meeting time! Hmm. Well, you see... For now. Anyway, let's cherish the coincidence that brought us together. So it's okay if we joined in two? Well, he got forceful all of a sudden. Aww. So that's your ulterior motive? You're probably here for Sonya, aren't you? Well, I really have no desire to do something so rude. like to climb the offer at all. But Sonya was the one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Of course. But it's all good. It's too devastating to think Miss Sonya would decline, so I just won't think it. Is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Is it alright if we go inside now? Buki was going to eat a good meal first. That's why I came early. <laughs> sure thing. Let's wait inside. We should have been like, oh, hey, we were in the restaurant. We saw Fuyuhiko, and you guys are here? Cool. What's up? You want to... Maybe we should grab a burger or something. And, oh, you're going to the beach? Cool. We should... Oh, let's go. Good God. We could have done this fucking better. We're, we're not Kazuichi, though. I can't take my mind off Fuyuhiku. Well, I've come this far. I can't turn back now. Let's go. No point talking to these fools. We're going to come in here and eat. Here we go. I returned to the diner and sat myself at the table near the window once again. Phew! Without thinking, I couldn't help letting out a big sigh. <laughs> oh, what are you guys going to do about your swimsuits? You aren't allowed to change to that beat house, you know. Um, yes, that's why we're already wearing them. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform isn't panties, it's a swimsuit. Of course. Well, that's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit, too. Huh, really? Uh... Which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, huh? Then you gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. Here you go, this is yours. <laughs> what is this thing? Uh, um, it may be rude of me to say this, but, <gasps> but that looks a little too daring. Are you serious? What if something falls out? 
<laughs> if this is airing live, you're totally going to get censored by the network. <laughs> Don't worry. Even at its worst, it won't turn into a live-action drama. That's not the problem. What is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to wa match with me? It, it's matching? Then I definitely don't want to wear it. Uh, I believe fighting is bad, so let's stop. Okay. Things are heating up something fierce. When I, when's everyone going to come? I hope they come soon. As she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. Oh. Huh? What is it? Look outside! Outside! What's outside? Isn't that Hyoko? Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. Doesn't she seem a little strange? If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Despite her questions, Hyoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. Huh? She totally ran past us, but wasn't she part of the beach crew? Uh, apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. Hmm. But she... Didn't she just come running from the beach? I'm sorry. I don't really know all the details about that. <laughs> well, it just means women are full of surprises. Mahiru is the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. Mahiru? She did. She turned it down? So unexpected of her not to join in an event like this. In fact, she totally planned this sort of thing. That's totally it! But it can't be helped! Apparently she wasn't really feeling well. Um, um, I'm terribly sorry to continue this topic, but why was Hyoko crying? Why are you asking us? But if she was sprinting away from the beach and crying, something's definitely wrong. There's a body at the beach. Hey! Whoa. When'd you get here so suddenly? Kazuichi suddenly shouted, and what he was looking at was near the diner's entrance. As I turned around. Of course they had to like scan up. My my, how disappointing. I thought if I came early I'd be the first one to arrive. I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. <laughs> Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit. I was gonna say I wasn't expecting that I from didn't Chiaki. I want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. S serious burden? That's a total exaggeration. Even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Also, I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together. So I brought a board game too. At the beach? Yeah, I go to the beach to play board games. Hmm. Should we play it, even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. I see. That's disappointing. <sighs> but how should I say this? Is this what Gapmo is supposed to be? For someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit, it makes you a little excited, right, Hijame? Hajime? I totally read his name. I dyslexified his letters. Oh my god. Well, um, I don't know. That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Seriously, man, I never expected Chiaki to have such huge jugs. What happened? Jugs? Hey, hey, hey! I didn't say that just now. It was Hajime. He's a pervert, you know? Wh what are you saying? Whoa. I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonia. I've dreamed of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. Hmm. The size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit me. Hey, hey. I don't look good in it? Huh? Well, no, I guess you look good. Thanks. Then I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wearing a bikini is sure daring. And you get bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart's not just thumping. It's thumping all sporadically, like ba dum thump thump ba dum It's probably a heart yeah. sack. Hey, 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 I kept you waiting. You heard a voice as the door slowly opened, and the person who walked in through it was, Why do we have to, like, oogle all of the fucking girls? And why is she covered in blood? Uh, hey, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Ah! Akane! What happened to you? What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. She's extremely buff. Not that! Your wounds! 
Yeah, why is she bleeding? It wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now. Nice. Uh, oh, you're talking about these. I like how they have to scan up and see every inch of their body when they walk <laughs> on in. On my way over here, I happen to run into Coach Nekomaru. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Why does she have to do that? Uh, are you really all right? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? <sighs> You're totally playing up the power of human spit. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. One of them's gonna get killed one of these days. <laughs> Anyway, you need to be treated, and you also need your wounds sterilized. Akane, please come with me. With an unusually forceful demeanor, Mikan pulled Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's going to be okay if we leave it to her. Hey. What is all this ruckus? All right. Oh, who is it this time? Let me guess. We got it. Yep, there we go. And they're all wearing bikinis, and they all have ginormous boobs, and they all look hot as shit. <laughs> This is fucking hilarious. This is pretty much a fan service one, I feel like. I mean, Jesus Christ. I'm surprised that there's murder and not just, like, who's boning who. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Kazuichi, why are you two here? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? And why is she wet? I just did a little swimming. A little swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hey. Hey, Hajime. Hmm, what? Awesome! A woman with wet, slick back hair is pretty fine too, huh? Oh my my! And this body too, man! They are all legitimately 100% fucking perfect. Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. <laughs> Don't say such asinine things. Yeah, I'm sure Ibuki's boobs are gigantic <laughs> too. Anyway, it looks like everyone is almost here. And it's already past four. If so, all that's left uh, is... I am terribly sorry for my delay. <sighs> Miss Sonya's here! He's doubled down on excitement. <laughs> All right, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonya wearing? Probably like, yeah. Ah, that's good. That wasn't even. That's even better. Ah, it's a wetsuit. I was gonna say she's probably wearing something like 1940s thing, when it's like down to her knees and up to her fucking neck. But this is better. It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. I think that's fucking hilarious. Really? It is my bad. Oh my. I see you. A wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonia does have a beautiful has beautiful white skin. Miss Sonia! But that tight outfit of hers is amazing! Just what I expect from a hundred percent purebred princess! This guy, he is quick to recover. Um anyway, why are you two here? Uh. I'll answer that, Miss Sonia! I'll be honest. If you're gonna go to the beach, please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, this was originally supposed to be a girl's only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. <sighs> Do you think you can make an exception? Pretty please? Um... Well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems even if there are some boys. Then... You're right. They came all the way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. <sighs> ah, Miss Sonia's just so kind! Alright! Now that it's decided, let's get going! But Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! There's no way I can just stand around. Oh, I'll go on ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Engine's revving. I mean it. I promise I'll give my all to serve you so everyone has fun. With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Um, I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is 
a little awkward for telling me. Uh, I should go help Kazuichi too. As I mumbled my excuse, I ran out of the diner almost as if I were escaping. I do think it's hilarious like they've never seen a girl in swimsuits before, but I mean... I don't know how far away they live from the beach. I keep bashing my microphone, I'm so sorry. Alright, I guess we're gonna go to the Chandler Beach. What the frick now? Huh? Th that bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! And I didn't discover it. We always discover it. A, a body? Th that's a lie! Impossible! Someone... Someone come here! That was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It, it sounds like he's nearby! Oh yeah, we gotta go this way. I mean, you had to know it was on the beach, right? Where the fuck is he? Why is there a Monokuma in the water? What is that? What is it? I know he's probably in here. But this is where Kyoko came from, so... I know she probably didn't do it. Kazuichi screamed. Did I really hear it coming from here? No. What am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. A body discovery announcement? I will believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? As I raised my, vo raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. But I thought you had to find three people. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. I thought three people had to be present. But who is it? <gasps> if this was all a dream, when did I... When did I become dreaming? Begin dreaming? This is reality. Why is Mahiru on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. And I couldn't believe in anything. But... Sea and punishment, sins and coconuts. Sin and coconuts. That sounds like a delicious new scent coming from a Yankee Candle in the fall. Spring, sorry, spring. For the summer. It's part of their summer release. Mahiru, whatever her last name is. Koizumi? Okay, we'll just, yeah, Koizumi, I think. Anyway, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Toward us and towards herself, she was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Of course, I should have realized that we were going a half an hour and we should have ended right as chapter two started. So I'm actually going to um, wrap this part up here. And when we come back, we'll continue investigating um, her murder. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.